Radio Raheem here with Mark Dickinson opening the broadcast for Pro Bellum here in Newcastle this Saturday night. It's only your second pro fight. Uh, not many fighters get an opportunity to be on a card this big on television for their very second fight. Uh, talk to me about the, that experience, what you expect on Saturday night. Uh, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to Pro Bellum for giving me the chance to box on such a big card and um, the opportunity to open the show on the uh, televised program. So um, I'm just ready to put on a show, show everyone what I've been doing in the gym, show everyone my skills and what I'm all about. It's not just television. It's not just a big card. It's a hometown card on television. You'll be fighting in front of family and friends. How special is that to you and who are we going to see in attendance Saturday night? Um, there's going to be lots of family, lots of friends. I've got brothers, uncles, mom, dad, all coming. Um, I live literally two minutes away from where the venue is. Like I live just up the road. So, um, yeah, there's going to be a good support on there on Saturday night. Well, it's a nice thing where you can walk to work. <laughs> you come from a fighting family. We talked about your, your brothers will be there and, and whatnot. Uh, how did you personally get in, started in the sport? Um, well, I started boxing from about age six. I started going to the boxing gym. Uh, my dad's brothers, uh, John Lewis and Travis Dickinson, they both box as professionals. Um, British champions, English champion, both won the prize fighter. So when I was a kid, I was just wanting to be like them. You know, I'm going to be a boxer, I'm going to be like them. And it's just something that I've followed through. And uh, here we are today. Now, you've got young brothers, but from what I understand, they are also in the gym, or at least the young, the oldest of the young one. Was he, like, 10 years old? Yeah, well, uh, there's a 10-year-old. He's he's uh, in the gym every six days a week. He's had two skills bouts. A six-year-old, he goes twice a week. I've got a brother who's 23. He was a national champion. I've got a brother who's 20. He was a five-time national champion, but them two don't box anymore, you know. I was the only one who kept to it, and here we are, you know. Right, here you are, perseverance, and... Uh, Pro Bellum's obviously got confidence in you. I'd call you like an A-side tracked fighter, being that you're on television, your second fight out. Haven't uh, appeared in the Olympics. Uh, how disappointing was it to not be able to make an Olympic appearance before you turned pro? Obviously, when I was an amateur, the dream was always to go to the Olympics. When I missed out on that chance, uh, it was, I was gutted. It was disheartening, but then I knew it was time for the next chapter. I couldn't wait around for another four-year doing the same tournaments again, the same routine. It had to be a change, it had to refresh the mind and uh, fall back in love with the sport again, and that's what I've done. I'm working away in the gym with Ben Davison, got Josh Taylor in there, Lee McGregor, uh, Lee Wood, another world champion, and um, yeah, I'm just loving it, I'm loving it. You know, you're keeping good company in the gym, that always uh, helps a fighter that's young be able to shape his style and career. Uh, ben Davison uh, obviously is training you for the pros, how has your style had to adjust from what we saw from you in the amateurs? Um, a lot of people always said I had a, um, a better opportunity to go pro than what I did in the amateurs with my style. I was always quite aggressive, but there was just little bits um, that needed tidied up with me. You know, obviously the longer rounds, you can't go 100. Amateur boxing is a sprint. You know, this is a marathon. You've got to do the longer rounds. There's a different pace. Um, you've got the smaller gloves on, so you've got to watch what you're doing a bit more of the shots coming back and that. And uh, there's just... When I went down to Ben Davison's, I realised I've got a lot to learn, you know, um, with the stuff I was getting showed down there, and I'm um, taking it on board, I'm making sure that I'm listening, I'm working hard, and uh, I feel like I'm taking it in in good stead. Yeah, the pro fight is not only a marathon, the pro career is a marathon, not a sprint, and that you're at the beginning of your career, you've got a great start, uh, path ahead of you. When you visualise how your career might unfold, Talk to me about the path you intend to take and your ultimate goal in the sport. So, obviously, I've got my end goal is to be world champion or a multi-weight world champion, you know. That's a, every fighter's dream. But along the way, I want to go through I want to go through the ranks. I want to go through the... Uh, I don't mind going English title, British title, Commonwealth, European, you know. I'll, I'll win all the belts. But uh, at the minute, I'm on my second pro fight. Titles is in the not-so-far future, but... I've got, to, I've got to build my way up there first before I even start thinking about titles. Well, your first fight, by definition, will be your shortest fight. But your shortest fight has been a 30-second knockout in the first round. Yeah. That's your pro debut. You looking to beat that record on Saturday night? I didn't go in there looking for it the first time. It, it just happens, you know, the stuff that we do in the gym. We study the fighters even at the uh, the level of I'm fighting at now. I know it's not world level, but we study the fighter so we know him better than he knows himself. We know the mistakes he makes. Where we know what's going to open him up. And if I get it right, uh, it's going to look easy. And 
if the knockout comes, the knockout comes, but the aim is to make it look easy. All right, well, we'll see if you make it look easy this Saturday night. A pleasure to watch the beginning of your career on Pro Bellum this Saturday night in Newcastle. Good luck. Thank you very much. Radio Raheem with Mark Dickinson.